Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming, as I always say, one of my favorite videos to film. It is my Will I Buy It video, and I do link everyone that helps me make this video down in my description box. They're like permanently linked, and that is super easy for me. So just so you guys know, Samantha March, the Will I Buy It community playlist, Trend Mood, everyone's linked down there. Amy should be down there as well for Indie Makeup Spotlight. So lots of good things in my description box. Also, welcome to Vlogmas. This should be video number two of Vlogmas. I feel like I kind of took it really easy with the first video and did a giveaway and just kind of said hello, but that's okay. I feel like that's okay. A giveaway would be a fun way to kick off Vlogmas. So if you haven't seen video one, which was obviously December one, Go ahead and check that out because there is a little giveaway in there. And just remember guys, the rules for the giveaway are in a pinned comment as well as the description box. So make sure you are following the rules because I can't pick you as a winner if you don't follow all the steps and obviously you need to be subscribed to my channel. So I forgot to kind of give all those disclaimers in that video. So I will remember to link that down in the description box for you guys if you are considering entering. So. Anyway, I hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Hello. Thank you for joining me. These eyeshadows are from Adept Cosmetics, so this video should be coming up shortly as well if you guys wanna see how I created this look. So many exciting things going on here on my channel. Oh my goodness. And this is gonna be a long video, so you know, I hope you guys bought a snack. Get ready. The first thing I want to talk about is this new drop from Shop Alter Ego. I think a lot of you guys are going to be really excited about this palette. This launches on 12 3 and it is called the Aurora. And it is launching 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. It looks very much like a dupe of the Natasha Denona Sunset palette, in my opinion. I don't know if they've said or if you guys can guess what it is a dupe of, but that is my understanding just based off of looking at this. I have gotten their products in PR before but I haven't gotten any like tracking or anything from them. Usually I get an email with a tracking number saying the palette is on its way to me but I haven't gotten that so I'm not sure if I'm gonna get it or not but I do have a code with them. I believe it is Karen 10 and you save 10% off your shop alter ego purchase so yeah just wanted to let you guys know in case you're interested in this palette. I love their Goddess palette. I think it's a beautiful palette. All the palettes I've received from them have really great quality, honestly, I think. If I didn't know the brand and I was just in a store and I was picking out eyeshadows, I definitely feel like I would pick those out. And I feel like they could definitely stand up against a lot of the other palettes in my makeup collection. Those are like my honest opinions, you guys. I'm not just saying this to like trick you or anything, but yeah, I'm excited. If I get it in PR, I will definitely try and film a video for you guys. Otherwise, if you're interested in picking this up, that's really cool. I Maybe I'll buy it. I don't know. I have so many eyeshadow palettes to get through right now. I am trying so hard not to shop, you guys. There is a Nabla sale going on, and I want that new Nabla face palette, which we'll talk about later, um, so badly, but I don't want to place an order for more face products because I just got these in from Ulta. Oh, my goodness, I'm wearing one of these on my face right now. The adults only, oh my gosh, fabulous. Okay, I'm blabbering now. So that is the first thing I wanted to talk to you guys about. The next thing I'm so excited about is this launch from Ace Beauté. So they are launching two new palettes tomorrow or today when you're seeing this video. They have the Dusk and the Vintage Dawn and Scarlet Dusk, that's what it's called. And Scarlet Dusk, honestly, is not my cup of tea at all. Well, it is my cup of tea, but it's like, you know, I feel like I've been there, I've done that, I'm not really drawn to that palette, but this Vintage Dawn, oh, yummy. Like, there is a beautiful mustard shade called Daybreak, beautiful olive shade called Cactus Sky, is a gorgeous navy, like, I love this color scheme. It might almost be, like, basic at this point because everyone's really into the grungy mattes and grungy shimmer shades. But I still think this is really pretty and I definitely have my eye on it and I may pick it up. We'll see how it goes. I, I'm i trying to be a little more selective, a little bit more careful about what I buy. 
um, going into December because obviously I want to be able to save enough money to spend on my friends and stuff like that. It is the holiday season, so I'm trying not to be a hogger and buy everything for myself, but I do think that eyeshadow palette is so beautiful. It's so, so beautiful. Okay, so let's talk about this. This is actually really beautiful as well. There's so many pretty things out there. It's just ridiculous. So Linda Hallberg is coming out with a new holiday palette. This is the Enchanted Mysteries palette by her. It is $59, includes two metallics and two duochrome finishes, will be available today on Linda Hallberg Cosmetics. So I think this is stunning. I love the shades, that green shade. You guys know Lacuna is just like screaming my name, but I won't buy this because I did buy her first one that she came out with like this last holiday, and I wasn't the biggest fan of the formula. I didn't think it was as metallic and blinding as I was expecting, and for $59 it was kind of a pricey purchase, and I ended up spending like $100 on her website for free shipping and things like that. I love the Mood Crayons by Linda Hallberry, um, but her eyeshadow palettes I'm kind of on the fence about. So I think this is beautiful, but I'm not going to run out and buy it. I think Angie will most likely get this in PR, so I'm excited to see her video. It's so fun that she gets like all this great PR from some of these bigger brands because then I can always like get her insight and I really trust Angie's opinion when it comes to eyeshadow palettes. So very excited to see her reaction to this palette. I do think it's stunning. So everyone and their mom is just like, what is going on at ColourPop? Oh my gosh, it's so funny. Last year, I don't know if you guys remember this. You probably do if you were on my channel last year. I did a video where I recapped every single ColourPop launch of 2018. And I was planning on doing one for 2019 and I'm like, oh my gosh. It's gonna take me like five hours to do the research for that video. I just know it. So they just launched a new single pan eyeshadow palette called the Butterfly Effect Curated Palette with 24 eyeshadows. Um, it says they're new shades and the cyber price, so they have a deal going. These are usually what, like 40 something dollars? So for Cyber Monday, I'm guessing this is gonna be $39. And then a All That Glitters Curated Palette with 12 pressed glitters, new shades, cyber price $20. So wow, I mean 20 bucks for a bunch of pressed glitters. It's not my ideal thing for me because I don't like pressed glitters, but I know a lot of people are really enjoying pressed glitter and so why not I mean this is very very eye-catching lots of beautiful pinks and purples and the butterfly packaging is gorgeous and so that will be $20 and then they're coming out with three lashes they're five dollars and they're usually eight dollars so Angie did say that she tried the color pop lashes and she said they're they're pretty decent I was so tempted to buy some but Honestly, I don't want to buy lashes because I don't really wear lashes very often. I'm wearing some today because I really wanted to try. I want to become better at putting lashes on. I want to wear them more often in videos because I really think they take like a makeup look and they like bump it up to the next level. Um, so because of that, I did throw on some lashes today, but I like to buy my lashes from Shop Miss J and those lashes are usually like $2 or under. So. Even $5 for me for a lash that you wear like one time is like very excessive and a lot of people are really good at like maintaining and cleaning up their lashes and reusing them multiple times but I'm just too like lazy for all that so I usually just wear them once and toss them. <laughs> And so I, I'm just fine with the Shop Miss A ones. So Kesha did reveal her new collab. I think this is a collab. That's what I heard. I heard it's a kind of like a partnership with Hip Dot or something like that. I don't know. I've never tried Hip Dot. They have some cool palettes, but a lot of them have pressed glitters in them. So I've never really been like drawn to the brand. But this is Kesha Rose Beauty, and she's got an eyeshadow palette for $36 with 12 mattes. Um, shimmers and glitters, dual ended liquid eyeliner for $28, rising hell red lipstick and bitch lip gloss duo for $26, and then a collector box for $120. Um, this is just really not my vibes. I don't really want it, so 
I don't know. But a lot of people really like Kesha, so maybe they would be really interested in that. So e.l.f. is coming out with new liquid glitter eyeshadows, and they're $5 each. They've got a bunch of different shades. I think this is kind of a cool step for e.l.f. It's so funny. So I don't know if you guys can relate to this, but I have girlfriends that are not into YouTube as much as I am and anytime they visit me or they come into my beauty room I realize like how little um, regular women know about like the beauty community and like the makeup and like staying on top of like current stuff so like I follow makeup like some men follow sports or some women follow sports and like if you ask me like what's going on in sports or football like I would know what's happening like I have no clue okay so that's how the women in my life are when it comes to makeup so to them like when they come into my room just to see what they're like attracted to teaches me so much about the regular women in the world so i had you know all of my colorful palettes i had like conspiracy and um so many fun colorful palettes and then i had like the ColourPop going coconuts palette just like sitting on my desk and the ColourPop whatever palette and like those were the palettes like my friend and her sister were drawn to like they thought the going coconuts palette was so pretty and then um, my friend's nieces actually filmed a YouTube video because they love YouTube and like makeup and stuff like that so they I let them film like where I'm sitting and film a video and they had so much fun and they were like so into it and they know like they're like 12 and 10 I think and they like know who Jeffree Star is and James Charles and they were like they thought it was like the bee's knees that I had like all these palettes and um the one little girl was like waving the Jeffree Star mirror around it was a it was it was a it was crazy to me um because as a youtuber just watching all of that it's very um it feels like an experiment but like it helps educate me for for where everyday women are at in the beauty community so something like this from elf even though it's not like directly attracting me i think that price point is great it's gonna get the stila formula into hands of more consumers people that don't want to spend 30 dollars on a liquid eyeshadow i think this is who this is for the shades are very neutral and beautiful and I think it's a great launch to kind of hit that market. So hopefully you guys can kind of see where I'm coming from. Even though I'm not an everyday neutral makeup person, I do try to keep that in mind in my videos, especially now I feel like before I didn't really care about that, but I feel like now I see it so often that it reminds me, it grounds me as to where people are on their makeup journey might not be where I am. So I think that it's a great launch for everyday women. I really do. So Cyber Monday drop. Soul Body New Minis, a mini shimmering dry oil kit. So this is really aesthetically pleasing because the shades are like a rainbow um, concoction. But I don't really, again, with these sets, I don't feel like you should buy them just for you. I can see like if you have five friends, buy yourself this kit and then give each one like if you create like a little hamper or a stocking stuffer kind of situation i think this would be perfect other than that like i don't really know who all of those like who could buy all of those and use them and like completely use them i don't know but lady gaga is coming out with a eyeshadow palette called glam room number one um yeah this reminds me a lot of the lawless palette like it's very neutral it's kind of a smaller palette again i can see people being drawn to this i don't know how much this palette is so you know if you are a lady gaga fan and again you're really into neutral makeup i can see you dying for this palette but also know that there are plenty of much more affordable dupes to that color scheme so definitely check out like color pop or stuff like that you know or you probably just need to look in your own collection and you'll probably find a hundred eyeshadow palettes just like it okay i totally fell for this you guys can come for me i don't care um uh, makeup revolution or iheart revolution launch some new teddy bear palettes now those are definitely dupes for that guy i feel like or they copied that packaging i mean it's not identical the inside is a very interesting layout you know I'm not drawn to that I totally bought the Revo pooches shadow palette for 15 dollars 
years. <laughs> I did talk to you guys about this on my community tab on YouTube when I first saw it, and I thought it was so freaking cute. You guys know I love dogs. I have two dogs myself, and listen, if you make a fucking dog palette, I'm gonna buy it. Like, it's the same thing with ColourPop's No Kill LA um, collab they do. I so wish they would do a freaking eyeshadow palette because I'd be all over that. Like, I really would. Like, I don't collect Super Shocks as much as I used to back in the day, but if they did a dog palette or a cat palette, like, I'd be all over that. Just like everyone bought the Birds of Paradise palettes because they love birds. Like, come on. Are you really telling me to stay away from this palette? Look at those dogs' faces. They're adorable. So I bought it. And also, Alta sent me like a $10 off a $50 purchase for Black Friday. So I was like, whatever. It's basically free. Judge me. I don't care. <laughs> I use my Alta points. Okay, so uh, ColourPop. We're back on ColourPop again. Um, did launch a new collection at Ulta. It's like butterfly themed eyeshadow palettes. They're like, this is like another level. Like I bought the one butterfly palette that they launched on their site, Flutterby. This is cute. I wanted to test this out to see if it would be a dupe of the new Pat McGrath palette. I haven't really tested it out yet, but I do have a swatch party film with some of the newer ColourPop products I picked up, so that should go up pretty soon here. But yeah, this is like a lot. I really like the one that has like the cool tones and I was like thinking about it but I was like no Karen and they're $18 which is like why is why are they more expensive like I mm. so the whole thing just kind of rubbed me the wrong way but I do think they're beautiful I think that you know people are gonna love it yeah very very stunning and then they also have some gloss duos as well as some beautiful false lashes so yeah ColourPop is doing the most right now, and that's okay, you know what I mean? So this one, controversial, Jeffree Star launched some new, what are these called? New highlighters in a new formula of the Extreme Frost, and they also come in like a vegan leather box packaging. Very bougie, they kind of almost look like they're in like you know, when you buy like an expensive-ish watch, it comes in like a nice leather box. I think that's cool presentation. The thing about these highlighters, and I think it's the same thing for the original Extreme Frost formula. I didn't love the formula. And don't get me wrong, I love a blinding highlighter, but I'm kind of like coming off of that high now, and I like my highlighter to really blend into my skin so I just look glowy like like it's part of my skin. I don't necessarily always love the artificial looking highlighter where there's like a ton of sparkle. I hope that makes sense. So these are not for me but I can totally see people freaking out over these. The other thing too is like again from a regular consumer perspective they might not be as into indie brands as some of us on YouTube are or people that watch YouTube often are definitely more savvy and know more about like indie brands that do this kind of highlighter. So for somebody that even could have made me like four or five years ago that didn't know anything about YouTube and indie makeup brands, seeing something like this could be revolutionary. And I can see somebody that has never seen something like this before being like, oh my gosh, those are so different, so new, let me spend 50 bucks on each of those highlighters. I can totally see that happening. So for those reasons, I mean, I can't blame anyone for wanting them. I think the price point makes sense because they're big, but I mean, I don't, I, I wouldn't pay for that. I wouldn't pay 50 bucks for that. Um, but I also have a ton of highlighters and I just got the Kaleidos ones in PR and those are the same effect. Like if you want something that's colorful, if you want something that's colorful with like a sheer base, those are perfect and they're like way cheaper and the quality is amazing. So consider something like that. Also, I'm guessing these all sold out probably since it's Jeffrey. So definitely consider the Kaleidos ones because I think they're awesome to be honest. And I'm not just saying that because I got them in PR. Okay, so another ColourPop launch. This is so funny. So the Bare Necessities collection. I actually bought this set, so if any of my friends in real life are watching this video, you might be getting these for Christmas, but again, keeping my friends in mind, keeping in mind their reaction to my makeup collection and what 
they were drawn to. I honestly thought this Bare Necessities set was such a good deal, so I picked up two of them because they were doing a bundle where you could get the brush roll and the eyeshadow palette for like 60 bucks, and my plan is to split them up and gift like the brushes to somebody and gift the palette to somebody because I can definitely see my friends in real life kind of being drawn to the very neutrals and everyone needs brushes. I think brushes are such a wonderful gift to give people because most of the time they're expensive and we don't want to spend our money on them, but they're a necessity. So I think something like this where there's, you know, a bunch of eye brushes, some face brushes, and it's all packaged beautifully so they can take them on the go. Or if, say, for example, my friends store their makeup in their bathroom, it's all kind of tucked away and sanitary, which is awesome. So yeah, I did pick those up and uh, not for me, for my friends, but maybe if I get them, I'll show them to you guys so you can see what they look like. But ColourPop's always had such good quality and stuff like that, that I think it will be fun to gift these to my friends. And then the No Kill LA um, collab is a super shock. It's called Positively Perfect for $7. And then all net profits will be donated to the Best Friends Animal Society, which is dedicated to ending the killing of dogs and cats in American shelters, which I think is wonderful. I'm just gonna plug, you know, adopt, don't shop. There's so many wonderful pets out there. All of our animals except our one cat was adopted or rescued, which is wonderful. They definitely test me on a daily basis. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you probably don't know this, but um, yeah, they're all, you know, all naughty and they all have different personalities, but I wouldn't exchange them for anything in the world. So very, very fun times here at my house. Okay, so we have another ColourPop launch. This is their Holiday 2019 collection. I have a feeling they'll come out with something else, to be honest. This just seems like very boring to be their holiday launch, but it is like good as gold. So they have an eyeshadow palette for $18. Hey Big Spender Duo with a lipstick and pencil. Go for Bold Duo, which is a creme luxe lipstick and a pencil. Put on the Ritz Duo, which is a creme luxe lipstick and a lippy pencil. Strike It Rich Duo, which is a creme lipstick and a lippy pencil. Six metallic liquid liner $9 each. Now that is a new formula. I believe they've never done metallic liquid liners. I'm guessing they are like the Urban Decay formula. They come in like a little tube. So that'll be interesting to see. Hopefully they'll come out with more shades and then they have lashes for $8 each. This will all be available today on ColourPop. Fascinating. I don't even know what to say. I mean, it's beautiful. Again, I think it's perfect for the everyday consumer. Really. I mean, beautiful packaging. It's just very luxe looking and wonderful. So ColourPop did come out with a bunch of vaults. Waltz? Waltz? I have the worst time saying V and W. My husband husband always makes fun of me because I say my V's like W's. I don't know, whatever. It's an accent thing. So <laughs> they are coming out with a new set from the Disney Designer Collection, which is a bunch of luxe liquid lip bundles. Don't want that. Um, they've got this um, bunch of like lippy pencils, la la la. They've got a monochromatic bundle where you can get six of their monochromatic palettes. They came out with a pack of lip tint pencil things. There's eyeliners in a vault and then there's some like their glitters in a vault as well. So a bunch of stuff and you guys are probably gonna laugh but I totally picked up the eyeliner sets because I love some of their liners. It's so hit or miss so maybe someday I'll do like a my favorite ColourPop liner pencils because some of them suck and then some of them are really good. This one is a good one. This is like an Arbergine call Charmer and it's in my waterline today. I I love it. I used it with this look. I also love their red pencil. So good. I love it so much. So I'm excited to try these shades because they, some of them look like new shades to me. And then I totally, I totally bought the glitterly obsessed, like the pots of glitter just because they look so fun. And every once in a while, I will tap on a glitter on my lids. And if you guys don't know, I went to a bachelor art party in um, Nashville um, in September, I believe. And I bought this glitter with me. It's Tripping on Skies from ColourPop. And we 
smeared this all over everyone's bodies because we had a pool party one night and that was so fun and every time somebody sees this pot in my makeup collection they just want to reach into it and like rub it all over their bodies so it's a fun glitter just be safe when you use it because you know you can like hurt yourself with glitter but I just thought that was such a fun set and there were so many fun colors that my basic butt was like all over it. And then I don't know if I wanted this or I just heard Angelica talk about it so much that I was like, ooh, it's pretty, yeah, I should get it. So I did buy the Soul Body highlighter in the new shade called Pink Champagne. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Peach Fizz from Anastasia Beverly Hills, the loose highlighter. And I do have one of the Soul Body highlighters. I I did recently pick this up. It is the highlight I am wearing today. And it's honestly like a super shock formula. It's very creamy. I think this is gonna be so fun in the summertime. Again, just to take a little bit on a brush and like put it on your decollete or like your collarbone and stuff. And this packaging is kind of fun. It's very sleek. It is very reminiscent of the Marc Jacobs bronzers, I think that they make like that. So yeah, I just thought it was fun. And I think I'll be able to pull that pink shade off pretty well, so look for it in a upcoming video. Okay guys, so here is something that really, really caught my attention. The new Nabla Dreamy palette. So they came out with a Dreamy 2, and then they added on some products with the collection. So there are some creamy liquid lipsticks, which from Angie's video, it looks like they don't dry down. So I'm like, mm, not really my scene, but I really, 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 really want this Glimmer Light multi-dimensional palette. So if any of you see this come available on Ulta, please let me know, or on Morphe, please let me know because I want to buy it. Nabla is having a huge sale for Black Friday, and I have been fighting so hard not to just buy it because I don't need to buy a Nabla palette and then have it shipped across the country, across an ocean to get to me when I can just buy it on Morphe when it comes available on Morphe or Ulta. So I'm trying really, really hard to resist, um, but you guys know I fucks so hard <laughs> with shimmery blushes and that peach shade, that peach shade called Elixir, ooh, never have I ever wanted to be on the Nabla PR list more than when I saw that face palette. It looks Stunning, stunning, stunning. Okay, love that so much. Okay, so this is really cool. I hope I see these in store. When Wild is launching a new blush and highlighter, blush lighter compact. It's so cute. It's called Hello Halo. And there are three shades from the looks of it, $6.49 each. I think these would be so fun to have. I really like that dark shade called Flash Me. That looks beautiful. The first and the second one look very similar in tone, but oh my gosh, that darker shade looks stunning. So very interested in picking those up. If I see them at the drugstore, I'll buy them. If I don't see them at the drugstore, then it is what it is, like whatever, I don't care. So BH Cosmetics launched their final palette in their series, their, um, what are these called? They're like star signs, their Zodiac collection. I was really on the Zodiac train for a while. I bought like four or five of them. I'm probably honestly gonna declutter them because I never got around to filming a video. I never got around to really doing anything with them other than showing them in hauls. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass on this, but I do think this is beautiful. I think that purple highlighter on a dark skin tone, oh, I think that would be so beautiful on like somebody that's super, super dark. I think it would look gorgeous. I don't know, I could be wrong. I have no idea, but I just think like with a deep complexion and you see like a purple streak, ooh, that sounds fan freaking tastic. There's so much happening in the makeup community. And um, the next thing I wanna talk about is the mini Jeffree Star, what is this even called? The Conspiracy? No, the Mini Controversy Palette by Jeffree Star and Shane. They are launching it again, and they are adding the green color that they took out in the in the original launch. It was it was this beautiful green shade, and they swatched it in the series, and everyone that saw that video was like, no! And so that makes me think they almost did it on purpose. Um, yeah, think about that for a second. 
because it is totally possible that they did that on purpose, that they took the green out because this is my conspiracy. You guys can disagree with me. Totally fine. Um, because originally when they announced that they were coming out with this green shade, and I believe they were just going to launch it in the palette and then most people would just have to buy the controversy all over again to have that green shade. But then I heard that they decided to sell it individually. So I could be wrong. I could totally be making this up and not even know. So correct me if you know, but I have a feeling that they did that on purpose. I wouldn't be surprised at all, at all. Wouldn't be surprised at all. Okay, so Benefit is adding the hydrating pore professional to their makeup line. That sounds interesting. I've never really used the pore professional. I've heard nothing but good things. That's probably one of their most famous, you know, products. And so I think it's cool that they're doing a hydrating version. I don't know the science behind it, but basically it fills in your pores. So it'll be interesting to see what the feedback is like on that product. The KKW collection is available. His collab, um, they collab with Mario and they launched this new collection called The Muse and the Artist. And I actually got the whole collection. I'm wearing all the lippies from that collection on my lips today. And I will have a video coming up featuring a look with that palette. So get excited. And yeah, I totally drank all the Kool-Aid when it came to that palette because I do admire Makeup by Mario. I think he's one of the most professional makeup artists that also has like an Instagram and stuff like that. He's very low-key and he's very, you know, focused on his profession, which I love, but has also really done a good job of making it. And yeah, I think he does great makeup. So I really do enjoy him. Fenty launched a addition to their Trophy Wife collection. So now you can get a Trophy Wife Life four piece eye cheek lip set with makeup bag for $69. This includes a Trophy Wife gloss bomb, Trophy Wife hyper glitz lipstick, Trophy Wife hyper metallic liquid eyeliner, and the kilowatt free style highlighter, as well as the Trophy Wife Fairy Bomb Shimmer Powder for $28. These all will launch on December 6th. So I actually bought Trophy Wife when it originally launched because it was one of those big things that launched in the Fenty line and everyone was buying it. And I still remember going into Sephora and seeing it swatch on a very, very pale person and it looked gorgeous on her and we were like drinking all of the Kool-Aid as per usual. And so I bought it, she bought it, everybody bought it. Um, but I actually don't use mine ever. I think it's way too glittery. I don't love the Fenty highlighter formula. So you guys will see I have a declutter, a highlighter declutter video coming up shortly on my channel and you guys will see I do end up decluttering that particular shade from my highlighter collection. Don't really like it, don't really care. Moving on with my life. Okay, so Lemonhead LA, which is the brand that originally started like those jelly type glitters in pot or jar type formulas, um, is launching a bunch of holiday minis. So there's a Dark Disco collection, a Starlights collection. So beautiful, the Disco one is like a bunch of neon, glitters and it looks stunning oh my gosh so all you glitter fiends you'll probably love that and then color pop again i did show you guys this palette i did buy it i haven't filmed a will i buy it video in a while so i feel like i have a lot to talk about so they launched a full collection um and this is like their butterfly collection i think it's called come fly with me or something like that and so they, they did the palette they did the super shocks they did jelly much they did lux blur lipsticks i actually bought the set of lipsticks too so you guys will see all of that in a in an in my upcoming november haul video tune for that and hopefully i will be able to get a video done too showcasing that palette i want to do an eye look with it Okay, Colourpop also collabed with Kathleen Lights and they created, basically packaging is what they created and then everything else was already existing. So she picked out her favorites and put it in this special palette and you can buy it for $45 or you can buy the empty palette for $10. Then she also did a blush palette which has her four blushes that she created with Colourpop which I already own. They are stunning. 
Two of them are a little bit more light girl friendly, and then two of them are more tan girl friendly. So here they are. This is the one I love the most. This is called So Retrograde. So if you are tan like me, I would recommend that one. And then I have this one. Where is her other shimmer one? Hmm, maybe I only bought, I thought I bought all of them. But I could be wrong. This needs to get decluttered at some point. Or, like, de not decluttered, like, I'm not going to give all of them away. But I definitely have bought too many blushes. Like, I need to stop. And then I'm like, oh, more blushes. Like, what's wrong with me? Anyway. So, yeah. She already had My Sun and My Stars, Lunar Has It, I Need Space, and So Retrograde. Those were already in her collection that she launched with the Zodiacs, I think. I can't even remember um, but then she came out with this special packaging, so now you can get all of that too. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Okay, so Morphe came out with two new eyeshadow palettes. There is an 18A, which is Blue You Away, and then 18T, which is called Truth or Bear Artistry Palette, 18 shades or $18 each. I don't like either of these palettes. I don't know. I think people really like them because they're cool tone, but I'm not really a cool tone person, so... I would be passing on all of that. Okay, so another thing I forgot to talk about in my previous Will I Buy It was this set by Sonia G. She launched a new eye brush set collection called the Sky something. I don't know. Sky Eye set. So she did the face set first and then she did the eye brushes and I really 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 wanted them but they're also like $160 and I didn't really have like $160 laying around the day they launched so I did actually end up missing it anyway so usually since they come to Beautylish I do the payment plan but yeah they sold out so fast I wasn't able to grab them. If you guys watch my channel a lot you know I love the Sonia G brushes as well as the Wayne Goss ones so eventually when it restocks I will pick up that set but it's okay that I missed out on it. I'm not like too hurt or broken up about it and then I totally want to give shout outs to my two besties here on YouTube. The first one is of course my dear friend Amy from Amy Loves Makeup and she launched a palette with Amy Hearts Beauty who is also a wonderful women-owned, person of color owned indie brand and they came up with this beautiful palette called the Alma Palette. I do believe it's sold out but they are taking pre-orders. It's stunning. I would definitely encourage you guys to pick it up, but if purples and blues and like colorful shadows are not your thing, I know Amy and Dom would not be upset if you don't pick it up, but definitely support, share the palette, go watch Amy's video and spread some love because she worked really hard on it and it's honestly beautiful. The, the shimmers are like... <laughs> They're like liquid, like they're so beautiful. Such a great formula, so happy for Amy. And then I wanna give my other friend, Angelica, Miss Angelica, a huge shout out as well because she actually curated a subscription box. So she worked with Tribe Beauty, which is a Canadian indie beauty box brand and they actually only, I believe, use brands that are women owned and I think that's amazing. So she curated their December box and I'm supposed to be getting it um, as a gift from them so I'm really really excited to receive that so I can show it to you guys. But I do believe the box is still available and Angie does have a code so you can save money on the box. I don't know the code off the top of my head, but if I find it, I will put it down here for you guys. But check out the box and check out Angie's video because she does do a reveal. Shows you everything in the box. It is such a cool idea. I had no idea about the brand Try Beauty Box before. I had heard people mention it, but you guys, I don't usually do like subscriptions because I'm kind of like over it. I used to get BoxyCharm, I used to get Ipsy, and I just don't like samples and things like that. But this is cool because a lot of the brands are brands I know like 
Glam Light, Cleonad, like really, really cool stuff. Makeup Geek is in Angie's box. Like, it's so cool. So definitely a subscription service I would consider getting myself, but I wanna see how Angie's box is first. And then the only other subscription box I have is, is literally Bark Box, and my dogs love their Bark Box. So that is literally the only subscription box I can currently endorse, and I've been getting it for, I think it's been a year. I don't even know, but it's so, so good. My dogs love Bark Box. And so yeah, just wanted to give my two friends a huge shout out and congratulate them on their collabs in this video and let you guys know about them as well. I think that's it. Oh my gosh, this video is probably gonna be 100 hours long as per usual. Um, just wanna thank you guys for spending your time with me. And again, it is Vlogmas here on my channel. It's my first time doing Vlogmas, which if you guys aren't familiar with that term, it just means that I'm gonna be uploading every day in December. I have done a ton of pre-filming, so I don't anticipate that I will miss any of the days. I got a few friends that have volunteered to collab with me so you guys will see some bigger YouTubers, some smaller YouTubers here on my channel. I also have a giveaway on day one so go ahead and check out that video and enter and yeah hopefully this is gonna be really really fun for you guys. I hope you're having a wonderful December so far. Thank you for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys!